Hi, I'm Jim Pavette from PureWave Audio, and today we are reviewing the Rupert Neve Design Shelford Series 5052 and 5051 modules. Obviously, Rupert Neve is the legendary pro audio designer of our time, and the Shelford series is an answer to the vintage craze of people wanting their older 1073 type units. But here's the kicker to the story. Rupert has another 50 years of engineering design experience and better components out today that never existed back in the day. In other words, his designs now are far superior than the old ones, and you could get that same coveted flavor of vintage sound. To me, the Shelford series is the holy grail of the classic Neve sound that comes with a warranty and way better specs. The 5052 is a classic Neve mic pre paired up with a classic inductor EQ. Now the EQ section is the best of all Rupert's vintage designs in one. We have the creamy low end of the 1064, the mid range of a 1073, and the high end of a 1073, but with some more modern choices of frequencies more often used today. Let's start with the preamp. It has 66 dB of gain with a plus and minus trim of 6 dB. You can engage a continuous high pass filter ranging from 20 to 250 Hertz. It comes with a mic line, phantom power, and phase switch, and a nice LED meter. From there, the signal could be sent to the EQ, which contains all selectable frequencies, either by detente knob or button. There is a variable gain knob with plus or minus 15 dB. There are buttons to change to peak modes on the EQ, and then finally there is a texture mode which is brought from the Portico series. The Silk adds the pleasing tape-like harmonic distortion to the signal in two different flavors. Red for mid and high frequencies, and blue for low frequencies. And you could vary how much you would like to introduce into the signal with a variable control. Now a great addition to this unit is you could run the mic pre and EQ independent of each other or push a button and have both units in line to the main output. The 5051 is an EQ with compressor all in one. It is the same exact EQ from the 5052, but could be placed in pre or post to the compressor. There are two line inputs available, but only one output, so they cannot be used separately like the 5052. The compressor is a Portico 2 version, which is the latest of Rupert's designs. Along with normal compression settings, this design allows feed forward or feedback selection, which jumps between modern and vintage compression approaches. It has the ability to be sidechained and linked to another 5051 for stereo linking.
Now the Shelford series units are designed for the 5088 console, but you could rack them for use as outboard gear by installing them in a two-way or nine-way rack. It needs its own plus or minus 24 volt power supply, which is sold separately in a five bank or 25 bank if you are filling up a console. Now each unit is the same street price coming in around $2,249 each. But remember, you will need a power supply, which is $749 for the five-way version. The two-way wood rack is $249, or the nine-way rack, which I have here, is $599. Thanks for joining me at purewaveaudio.com. You can find these Rupert Neve design products on our website for purchase. Feel free to email or contact us by phone if you have any more questions.